Heading into Thanksgiving, it's my favorite time of the year. I, I live for it. I did 10 years in New York. I've done enough partying. I've done enough Halloween. I've done enough New Year's Eve. But this gathering around the table and that sort of celebration is what it's all about for me. My family's restaurant is as old as me. What I like to call the first Thai restaurant in LA, but it wasn't, you know, but I always like to claim that. It was one of the first Thai restaurants that wasn't just for Thai people. I really see Night Market as an evolution of that, and not just like this completely new thing. There's no real differentiation between, you know, my restaurant food and what I cook at home. The way our restaurant is set up is for people to be able to get together around the table, have a lot of wine, have a lot of good food, hang out and party, and that's the way I like to do it at home too. All right, so we have our West Home Wagyu sirloin here. It might sound funny, but there's a thing with good beef where in the hand, touching it, feeling it, smelling it, it just, it has a certain feel where you know that there's quality with it. And it's insane marbling, these little striations here. This is like, just looks so delicious. This Wagyu really doesn't need anything beyond something super simple to help it shine. It's Wagyu that you would cook for friends. If I could open my ideal restaurant, it would probably just be this. There's a little grill set up. You can do everything basically all together. Like this is everything right here. Oh, nice. All right. I cook Wagyu a little more than I cook other types of beef because it has that marbling. And so it's so juicy and it's so moist already. Cooking it a little more is actually kind of nice. So on its own, it's already perfect. Like, you don't even need anything. But we're doing a little something different. We have our herbs here. I'm gonna make our Northeastern style Thai steak salad. This stuff is so good. The sticky rice that's been steaming here gonna put it into this pot. And then we have a really beautiful uh, a seasoned coconut cream that we're gonna pour over this. The num prick that we're gonna make literally translates to water from chili or chili water. It's super good. There is a million different versions of it where you use different chilies. We have Chinese eggplant and we have Anaheim chili peppers. So I'm gonna roast this too and then uh, mash it up in a mortar and pestle. If it's a Thai Thanksgiving, it doesn't have to mean that it's 100% Thai. I only do turkey maybe once every five Thanksgivings. And what's great is that everyone who comes is asked to bring something. And here's what I'm making. Here's a couple like sides or other things that I'm making. Bring whatever you want, you know? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Food is great, but eating and how we eat is infinitely more interesting. It is the social element of it and the soul of it.